here in the United States Library of Congress. We're going to look at a few of my favorite articles. In English, there is only one definite article, the. The cat, the dog, the cats, the dogs. It's all the same to the word the. In Spanish, the articles change according to the gender and number of the noun. We're going to look at the two singular ones, el and la. If you remember, in Spanish, all nouns have a gender. You use el or la depending on the gender of the noun they accompany. So we say things like el chico, la chica, el profesor, la profesora, etc. Feminine noun, la carpeta, la profesora, la hoja de papel. Masculine noun, el libro, el cuaderno, el pupitre, el bolígrafo. Those were just definite articles. Definite articles talk about one noun in particular. There are also indefinite articles. So for instance, if it was raining cats and dogs and the queen said, get me a dog, any dog would do. That makes it indefinite. But if she said, get me the cat, she's looking for one in particular. That makes it definite. The indefinite articles in English are a and an, a bug, an insect. In Spanish, the singular indefinite articles are un and una. And guess what? Un is masculine. Una is feminine. You use un with masculine nouns and una with feminine nouns. So you would say una carpeta, una profesora, una hoja de papel, un libro, un cuaderno, un pupitre, un bolígrafo. It's as simple as that. Let's review. Match each article to the correct noun. El libro. La carpeta. Un chico. Una profesora. <laughs>